the D vlog, and we are here at Southern Star for their fucking Oktoberfest, and we're not supposed to cuss. Already forgot that. Cheers, buddy. And we're up here with Alex. We got Emma, Tim. We got everybody here. Oktoberfest, dude. Our tour guide, you know, uh, he's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Pedophilish, that's okay though. <laughs> and there's Sandy, <laughs> and uh, we are gonna get a private tour. So let's do this. Hard <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks. Yeah, get out of the way, Debbie. <laughs> oh, you can do a bed tour. Yeah, welcome to the wonderful uh, working conditions of a brewer. <laughs> kind of sucks, <laughs> but with good results. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Start the world off. The guy that started it all, made it all possible. Up there on that tank, the guy on the left in the uh, white shirt with the later hosen drunkenly falling off, that is Dave Fougeron. That is our owner, head brewmaster. The reason we are all here. So, we thank Dave. Woo! All right. Well, we were started in 2007. Dave was a uh, former uh, home brewer who did really well. Uh, he went on to go to Texas A&M where uh, he continued to homebrew. When he graduated A&M, he worked for St. Arnold's as their head brewmaster. And from what I've heard, Lawnmower and Elissa are his beers that he did when he was there. So oh. in 2007, we started an old strip warehouse. Conditions were much like this in our tap room. Hot, sweaty, smelly, stinky. The rats were fighting the cats and uh, we were pouring beer every day. So we outgrew that and about five years ago, we moved over here. Uh, we have 13 acres, we've had it for a while, we took out a, took out a nice loan, got our brewery built, so we built our brewery on it uh, a couple years ago, and here we are growing and producing beer like crazy. All right. As soon as we moved, we quadrupled our production from the old place to the new place. We sold off our 15 barrel system, and here we got a 60 barrel brew house. This is where all the Southern Star begins, and starts and gets created. It's right here in these tanks, right here. All that crap. Yeah, <laughs> all, that, yeah all that crap. Is there. All that crap. Is there. <laughs> all right, we're gonna we're gonna move next to the uh, mill room where we get everything ground up. So if you want to come this way. All right. So this is where all the magic begins. We've got a uh, silo right outside to keep our our uh, base grain base malt in. We bring them in here, get everything ground up. Obviously, with every beer, we need different grains and whatnot in it so we can create the luscious flavors that we make. So we'll bring them in here, suspend them off of this guy. Gets it pumped over, gets everything in at the same time, so everything gets ground up, mixed, and put together. Once it's ground, everything comes up and comes into this white silo right here. Now, depending on the beers that we make, or the grains that we use, for our lighter beers, we use ones like this. A little bit of a light roast to them to get the flavors out. For buried hatchet, we use ones like these guys, Ooh. where if you sniff them, it smells like coffee. They right. smell delicious. And this is where you're gonna get your coffee and your chocolate hints out of Dude, it is so good. those right there. <laughs> smell it. Can I smell? Oh. All right, like I said, once we get everything ground, we get it over here into this silo. Everything comes from here into our brew house where we get everything cooked up. All right. Once we get it all cooked up, get everybody ready and acquainted and happy with each other, we're gonna move on to fermentation. Sweet. That means Dude, more I'm, beer. You know, I love taking brew tours. So do I. It never gets old. Never. So behind me is our fermentation tanks. We get the wort over here. We get everything settled. This is where we're going to throw in hops. This is where we're going to throw in yeast to let it continue making beer. Some of the buckets you see on the floor, you're going to see a lot of water rumbling in it. Mm -hmm. That is a blow-off valve of the extra CO2 coming out of these tanks that we don't need. The second byproduct is alcohol, which obviously we're keeping because we can drink that. We need it. Yes, Cheers. we do. Hey. Yes, yes. So once we got everything in here, all of our tanks are glycol jacketed so we can temperature control. Mm -hmm. If they start getting too hot, what we can do is we can bring them down. We can run the glycol through it, bring the temperature down so we can keep it at a good, good uh, fermentation. Okay. When we're done, we need to do what's called crashing. We'll run the glycol through it. We'll bring the temperature of this tank, like this one's at 82. When we're done, we're gonna run it through, we're gonna bring it down to about 30 degrees. 
stops fermentation, turns it into a nice big holding tank. Okay. Good quality control, that way we don't ruin what's in there. That's good beer, yeah. So once we get done with here, we are gonna move it on to this guy. We do not filter any of our beers because filtering beer is just not right. That's, what it is. that's it why it craft. craft beer is so good. Oh, exactly. That's why God gave us liquors. Exactly. Those, those I mean, beers. So we run it through this guy. <laughs> this is a centrifuge. Basically what we do is it's running through, it spins it, lets the heavier sediment fall out. Mm -hmm. Then we let the clarified beer pass through. We're gonna move it over here to the tanks right next to y'all. These are our bright tanks. We can let it sit in there, uh, use it as a storage tank. Yeah, maybe we sit in there for a day or two, or we can force inject it with uh, CO2 to get it to the levels we need for packaging. Packaging can either be kegging it, which is done here. We have a crew that comes in at night during the weeks. They've done it since the beginning. They're good. They know what they're doing. They do a perfect job of our beers, so we don't mess with them. Use over here in the kegging process, we do can. We do can exclusively because aluminum is a lot more affordable. Kegs are reusable. Plus, being next to Lake Conroe, you could take aluminum on the lake versus a bottle. Like this. Exactly. You cannot take on the lake unless you want like a $300 ticket. In that. Like I said, we do not warm store any of our beer. Everything is cold stored. So these are empty. We'll bring them up. We're going to stick them in this blue rack back here, which they call the cannabis. They're going <laughs> to lift them up. <laughs> and row by row, it's going to push the cans over onto the feeder. We're going to get sealed. Mm -hmm. As it comes down the conveyor here, it comes through the car wash where it's going to clean the top and the bottom of the cans. Now, we are in Southeast Texas, and if you can probably tell by me, I've been wiping my face quite a bit because it's hot. Hot as hell. That's nice. Shut up, Courtney. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we did because it is Southeast Texas and nobody likes swamp balls, we put a bidet in. We do, <laughs> we do clean the bottom of our cans. So, that happens here hits the belt, comes through here, and those pain in the ass six and four pack caps that get put on the top, those ones that are hard to get your can out of, this is what it takes to get that put on. This big ass machine. <laughs> That's why it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's gonna fall onto this table where George and Lauren are the guys that touch pretty much every freaking beer that comes through Southern Star. Falls out of here, they'll take it. Usually right here on the floor, we'll have a pallet. We'll start st stacking up the case flats of everything. And then from there, everything goes into the cooler and then our distributor comes and picks it up. So we're gonna head to the cooler. We're gonna go check out our beer that's ready to go. And our latest deliciousness, our first ever pumpkin beer, Sagord. Very light on the flavors, very balanced. The spiciness on the end is not one of those that's just gonna yeah yeah it doesn't taste like a liquefied christmas tree it's almost like a little hint of cinnamon in there too I a little love bit it. of clove on the end yeah if that's your thing right here y'all this is what you need seven surrounding states right around us uh we are up in new york we are in florida i've heard we are in some midwestern shithole like ohio and now can guys that are watching this they're in other states like specially order through specs or anything like that? Through specs, probably. They'll need to get with their distributors in their area. Okay. And they can probably make that happen. Okay, cool. Um, we are pretty much pretty prevalent. We are very widely in Texas. Um, we'd love to be everywhere, but thanks to our fans, we have gotten as far as we have. So thank you, we appreciate that. I'm live in Conroe at Southern Star Brewing. And guess what guys? They have an open mic little night thing going on on a Wednesday night so we're gonna check it out and this is the first time me going to a brewery on a Wednesday but also during the week so I don't know how this is gonna go but let's check it out this is Angel he's a assistant manager right yes sir how do you like your job it's pretty fun don't feel like a job honestly he gets to drink all day lucky as you can see
Lou. Hey, great Salud. podcast, Cheers. by the way. Cheers, great guys. podcast. <sighs> great podcast, great people. Hey, guys, come check out Southern Star. This is the place you need to be if you haven't been. It's Hi. out in Conroe, you know. Come check it out. Thank yeah, you all so much for everything. Him. Check out... We got Caleb Keith Angel. Angel. Check out Southern Star, all the beers. Follow him at Talented Savage. Angel? At uh, Andy Angel Loser Kid. And how can we follow Southern Star? Southern Star at uh, SouthernStarBrewing.com. Uh, oh, damn it. Star. Look up Southern oh, Star on Instagram Star. or Facebook. Yes. And there Twitter. Southern Star BC on Twitter. Yes. There you go. Uh, check us out at the Weekly Bee Pod on all social media. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Guys, thank y'all so much for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Many more to come. Hey, See y'all next week. Thank all y'all.